Uh, hey everybody, hope all is well. So, uh, one of my um, associates was checking into um, a condo. Pretty much, you know, looking at, um, and I was too, uh, looking at maybe like a property to rent, you know, Airbnb, um, you know, make a little change. So, uh, in looking at one location that we visited, it's a very nice area, one of the uh, individuals there approached us. And this was an older white male, nice looking guy, uh, very impressed with the property. So, checking around, looked at a few properties, and... Me, you know, being African American, um, and I think it's why he made this statement to me. So he says to me in particular, not to her, he goes, Oh, yeah. And you know, he goes, I just want you to know there are a lot of interracial couples around here. Okay, whatever. You know, I'm just looking with her because, you know, th this area here is one that she picked. I had chosen maybe a different area. I wasn't really familiar with it. And so he, then he goes, He goes, Yeah, we have a lot of black women here. They've been married to white men, you know, uh, Italian, and then he mentioned Irish. Okay. Then here's where it got interesting. He said, yeah, you can tell that they've been married, you know, to white men. He said, you can tell in how they carry themselves. So at this point, you know, I'm some kind of, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm like, okay, you trying to tell me something? What, where, where is this going? Because... This is, uh, you know, we're looking at real estate. Uh, you giving your two cents, which is appreciated. But I'm like, where the hell is this going? So he says to me, he goes, and you can tell uh, that they've been married, you know, to white, uh, to white men. He said, you can tell in the way that they carry themselves. He said, those, but I said, what do you mean by that? Can you expand? And he said, yeah. He said, you can tell when a black woman, a black woman's been married to um, a white man or Italian man. He said, they walk very confidently and those women are very relaxed. And then he says this, he says, they're very relaxed because they have been prepared for, they've been provided for. He said, those men, have they've taken care of them. He says, one lady down here, uh, she's got a very nice place. It may be on the market soon, you know, for whatever reason. He said, but yeah, she's got a very nice place. She's an African-American woman. And her husband, uh, he's deceased. Uh, he's also white. He said, but yeah, you know, the guy kept things in order. He had that life insurance in order. So she's well taken care of. And I guess he was explain explaining that because my look and my face was more like, you know, like, what the hell is this about, you know? I guess maybe he caught my look. But... I did feel some type of way, and then I thought about it, and I was like, dang. So he's saying he can tell when a black woman is married to a white man because those women, in his perspective, he's telling me, you know, they're more confident. You can tell the way they handle themselves. They're more relaxed because they have been provided for. And I thought, huh, which goes to show you, you never know what people are really thinking. And then... I thought about it later. I was like, well, dang. So if they see a black woman that's all hyped up and tensed and stressed out, then in their mind, maybe they're thinking she must have a black man. It would be the exact opposite because chances are she's not taken care of. She's not provided for. She's probably providing for herself and her man. So it just made me think, I thought, you never know what a person is thinking. But when he said that, I must say, I was really kind of taken aback. He said, you can tell when a black woman a married to a white man, by the way they care of themselves, they're more relaxed. They have been provided for. So if that's his thinking process of black women that have white men, what the hell you think he's thinking about black women that have black men? You think they don't know about the struggle, struggle love? See, a lot of our people, we seem to think that nobody knows our business. Newsflash for your ass. They do. In America, here, yeah, everybody knows everybody's business. But it makes you think. I was like, wow. So if he's thinking that about them, when they see a black woman that's all stretched out, whether she's working in a store, just out in the environment, she's all t keyed up and tense. Think about it. What the hell do you think they're thinking?